Hey y'all, Zyp guy here. In the last video about programming languages I did, I talked about languages people hate. Let's do the opposite and look at programming languages that people love. Now again, these are not my personal opinions and are just taken from surveys, alright? But before we get into the video, I want to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is available for your phone or your PC. If you're a person who enjoys turn-based combat games like me, you will absolutely love Raid Shadow Legends. Check out Raid using my QR code or the link in the description below. There's a new boss in Raid and it's a Hydra with 6 different heads. Check out the Head of Blight which poisons your team and leeches off it while protecting its own. It creates a poison cloud that makes it super hard for your team to land their attacks. Then there's the Head of Rat. It is angry. If you hit its head 15 times, it will get a triple damage buff. And that's gonna make the fight even harder. The amazing new things that are added to Raid every update is one of my favorite things about it. You will never get bored while playing it. There's always something new to check out. This month Raid is releasing a bunch of awesome champions along with a new faction war script for one of my favorite factions, the Shadowkin. It's gonna be great. On top of that, there's a ton of new year events and tournaments, including a special fusion event where you can get one of Raid's new legendary champions. There's never been a better time to start, and if you use my link in the description or scan my QR code, you'll get a free starter pack worth almost $30 to kickstart your game. It includes a free champion, Virgus, 200,000 silver, 1 energy refill, and 1 XP boost, and one ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. You only have 30 days to claim it and you have to be a new player. Be quick! All this will be waiting for you here. Again, thank you Raid for supporting the channel. Let's move on with the video. Number 1. Number 1 is Rust. Not that Rust. Not that Rust as well. Yes, that Rust. Rust is basically a fast but safe language that makes multi-threading easy and safe that is similar to C++ in its syntax. Rust is a growing language. More and more libraries are starting to appear for Rust and more and more people are starting to use it. I personally would too if I wasn't an idiot. Although I don't personally use it, there are people like Tantan who make amazing things with it. Number 2. Number 2 is C. I seriously do not think I have to explain why people love C. I think you can see why people use C when you look at all its uses. Boo! 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 You suck! Boo! That sucks. Boo! Boo! But really, C is used in practically everything. First of all, the Linux kernel is written in C, and almost every server uses Linux. Excluding its uses in servers and Linux, C is a very fast language. Many of the video games you love were written in C. If C didn't exist, you wouldn't have languages like C++ or in Python. Number 3. Number 3 is no other than C++. It's C, but plus plus. C++ is probably the most used language ever. Almost all video games are made in C++. Even if you're using a game engine, the engine was probably written in C++. I personally really enjoy programming in C++ and I've never encountered any issues while working with C++. Never. Ever. But in all seriousness, C++ is a great programming language and you can make literally everything with it. Give it a try. Number 4. At number 4, we have Python. Hey, 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 put those pitchforks down. These are taken from surveys. Chill. Python is a high-level language that is mainly used for creating small applications or prototypes. Although there are some people who are creating possible things with it. Python is one of those languages that can run code on literally anything. And it's probably the easiest language to compile. Because it doesn't compile. It is interpreted. Now, you might think it's extremely slow because it's interpreted, but... Honestly, with today's modern technology, it doesn't make much of a difference. Unless you're running it on a ThinkPad from 1998 using Poppy Linux. Number 5, we have TypeScript. TypeScript? Hold up, let me check my script. Ah. Number 5 is TypeScript. Hmm. Interesting. Well, number 5 is TypeScript. TypeScript is JavaScript, but better. 
It compiles into JavaScript and is strongly typed. For example, instead of typing var age equals 15, you would type int age equals 15. It's pretty cool in my opinion, and more and more JavaScript developers are starting to switch to it. TypeScript warns you if your code is incorrect before even compiling. Meanwhile, JavaScript doesn't show you the error until something goes wrong. So, you may think your code is working, but in reality, the error will actually trigger when you least expect it and lose your company millions before you even notice it. Number 6. At number 6, we have Kotlin. Kotlin is basically Java. I mean, it can be considered as an alternative to Java at least. Many people use it for Android development. It has become a top choice for Android development actually, being a built-in language and IDs like Android Studio. It was developed by JetBrains, the same people who made IntelliJ IDEA. A popular Java IDE. So I think that's pretty cool. Number 7. The language that claims number 7 is… WebAssembly. WebAssembly is an assembly-like, very low-level language with compact binary format. And, uh... That's it. I don't know what exactly this is. If anyone knows what WebAssembly is in detail, please explain it in the comments. I would love to know what it is. Number 8. In the video about languages people hate, I talked about Objective-C. But you know what people don't hate? It's Swift! Swift is the younger and better brother of Objective-C. It is mainly used for macOS development, iOS development, and basically any kind of development for Apple products. Number 9. Number 9 is JavaScript. You all knew JavaScript was gonna be on the list one way or another. Every single modern website you visit has some kind of JavaScript running. If you've been living under a rock for the past 20 years, let me tell you what JavaScript is. It is a programming language that runs code on your browser. Want to make that drop-down work? JavaScript! Want a button to redirect you to a link or reveal a div? JavaScript! If you do web dev, you need JavaScript. Number 10. The last language on our list is C Sharp. C Sharp is a language that is extremely close to Java in its syntax. It's mainly used in desktop development, game development, and, if you're crazy enough, web development. Most people know it because of game engines like Unity using it as a scripting language. And some know it because modding for games is usually done in C Sharp. Whichever way you use it, there is no denying that it's a loud language. Unless you're using Linux. It's a pain to compile and run C Sharp on Linux. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts in the comments below as I read comments very often. Join my Discord if you want to join a community with one and a half thousand programmers. Like and subscribe if you liked the video and follow me on Twitter at Zyapguy. This has been Programming Languages People Love and Zyapguy out.